Hi, I'm Tracy with Yoga with Tracy. In today's sequence, we will be working on strengthening the core muscles. If you like the sequence, please subscribe to me and follow along so that you may see some of my newest videos. Okay, to start, we want our feet planted, hip width distance apart on the ground. Spread the toes, really sink them into the earth. Knees on top of the ankles, shoulders on top of the waist. Draw the chin in, lengthen through the crown of the head. Okay, let's start. Hands on top of the thighs. To warm up the body, we need to breathe and connect with our breath. Let's do three breaths here. Breathe in, exhale, breathe out. Good, breathing in, two more. Breathing out, one more time, breathing in and breathing out. We're going for a twist now. Breathe in here, exhale, twist to the left. Good, inhale back to center. Exhale, we're gonna crunch our belly and twist. Good, inhale back to center. Exhale, crunch and twist. Breathing in, breathing out, twist. Excellent, come back to center, release the arms, breathe in, take your hands up, press them together, and let's go ahead and sway. You'll notice that you have to engage the belly muscles while planting the feet into the earth to hold this. Keep on breathing, come on up, inhaling, and then exhaling, sway. Good, breathing in, lift, lengthen, exhale, sway. Breathing in, exhale, sway to the other side. Inhale, lift all the way up, and let's open up the chest, breathe and squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Good, breathing in, breathing out, squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Awesome, you have nice little high tens for me here. Inhale, lift, tight belly, lengthening the spine. Exhale, squeeze. Good, now release the arms. Come on back up into those goal posts here. Relax the shoulders, spread your yoga fingers out, draw the belly in, inhale here, and exhale. Let's go ahead and twist to the right. Good, come on back to center, breathing in. Exhale, twist. You're noticing a pattern here. Twisting is amazing to strengthen the abdominal, the core muscles. Good, breathing in, out with the breath. Inhale back to center, exhale twist. Breathing in, exhale twist. Good, inhale, let's release the arms. Go ahead and roll up the shoulders, reminding ourselves that we're practicing ahimsa which means non-violence, and you say it's great. So non-violence to yourself. At any time, if you're feeling discomfort, we're gonna stop, we're gonna loosen things up by shaking them out, rolling them out, doing whatever you need to do. Okay, two more of these shoulder rolls. One, two, good. Now let's take the arms all the way up, reaching up, hands facing each other, Shoulder distance apart, keep the shoulders fairly relaxed, but lengthening the spine up. We're gonna breathe here, inhale, and then on the exhale, I want you to plant that left foot down into the earth and lift the right foot up, crunch. Good, breathing in, lengthening up, exhale, crunch. Got it? Breathing in, planting the foot that's on the ground, and then crunching with the other side. Breathing in, exhale, crunch. Let's do two more on each side. Breathe in, exhale, in, exhale. Feeling nice and strong. Show me those yoga fingers. In, out, in, and out. Good, breathing in. Now, see if you can crunch and twist at the same time keeping the feet down. Good, breathing in, crunch, twist. So we're crunching means basically engaging the abdominal muscles, right? Inhale, lift, and crunch, 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 crunch. Engage, breathing in, exhale, crunch, 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 and engage. Good, come on back up, and release the hands down. Nice little Opening up of the heart here. So lift up the chest, roll the shoulders back and down, stick the tailbone out. Nice little cow pose. And exhale to cat pose.
toes, chin to the chest, draw the belly in, reach your fingers to the front. Good, two more, breathing in. Exhale, breathing out. Inhale. Exhaling. Okay, let's continue the theme of those twists. We're gonna take our hands to the heart. We need to plant both feet down into the ground. We're going for a hinge at the waist. Okay, to support our spine, we need to engage the belly muscles, which is our theme today. So we're going for a twist while bending forward, intensifying the crunching here. So I want you to breathe in, breathe out, hinge at the waist, press into your feet, spread those toes. Inhale, we're hinged. Exhale, take the right elbow to the outside of the left leg. Good. Breathing here, inhaling, exhaling. Come on back to center. Come on back in. Exhale, twist to the other side. So the left elbow is to the outside of the right thigh. Holding it, breathing in, out. Come on back to center. Take your hands down to the thighs and press up. How did that go? Breathe in here, exhale, breathe out. Notice how you feel. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit more crunching forward. I want you to take your right foot up and over, crossing it either like this, where the right angle's on top of the left thigh, or you're sliding it over. Now, if none of these poses or the legs work, that's okay, you can keep it like this. That's perfectly fine, because we're gonna do something with our arms. If you can maintain the legs like this, option A, option B, okay? We're gonna hold it whichever position feels best for you, or of course, the zero option, which was just like so, okay? I'm gonna go back into the option B here and take my arms in front. You will take your left arm on top of the right and cross the arms on top of the shoulders. From here, you're gonna breathe in and out. You know where I'm going with this? From here, in a Garudasana pose, an eagle posture, we are going to crunch forward. So again, the foot or feet that are planted down onto the earth, spreading the toes, plant them down, lift and lengthen through the spine here with a breath in, and then exhale, I want you to crunch forward. Crunch, 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 crunch. Okay, now inhale, tight belly, press up. Okay, so we really have to work on our core strength here. Tightening the belly, supporting the spine as we come up. So let's do a few of these. We're doing seated crunches. Breathe in, breathe out, crunch, 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 crunch. Good, tight belly, inhale and then relax. Now, let's intensify the arms, pressing the backs of the hands against each other. And if you really want something a little more oomph, press the palms together. So now we've really got it in. So you have this option, this, or this. Find what's best for you. And from here, same motion. Breathing in, tall spine. And then exhale, crunch. Rounding the back and crunching, crunching, crunching. Tight belly, press into the feet. Inhale, inhale, come on up. Exhale, release. Okay, again, breathing in. Exhale, crunch. Tight belly, inhale, come on up. Tight, 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 tight. Exhale, release. If the arms are getting tired, go ahead and take them like this. Breathing in, crunch, 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 down, down, down. Inhale, tight belly, come on up. Breathing in, and let's release the arms. Let's release the leg. Okay, I always like to include a little bit of Chinese medicine principles, which is our yin and yang brain. So go ahead and tap out the legs if they need a little tap, okay? And go ahead and tap on the shoulders whenever you need a little movement, a little tap, and a little love sending it to the body. Good. Let's do the other side. 
were your feet planted down? Was the foot across the leg or did it slide all the way down? Find what's best for you and try to do the same that you did on the other side. So now I have the left leg crossed over the right. My foot is planted down into the earth. I spread my toe so I feel really nice and rooted there. I'm going to readjust myself so the shoulders are stacked on top of the waist. My chin is drawn in. The crown of my head is length and lifted up to the sky. This time, we're going to take our arms out and crossing the right over the left. Go ahead and take your hands on top of the shoulders. How does this feel? So now we're doing the opposite side. We're going to go ahead and breathe in here and exhale, crunch down below. Okay, tight belly, supporting the spine, press up, tight, tight, tight belly, breathing in and out. Again, breathing in and exhale, crunching below. Breathe, 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 breathe. Inhale, tight belly, come on up, breathe in, breathe in. And out, okay, inhale. Exhale, crunch, 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 crunch. Good, tight belly, come on up. Inhale, engage, engage, engage. Ah, oh, breathe out. Okay, I'm gonna take my hands like this. We're gonna intensify it, either backs of the hands together or palms together. How do your shoulders feel today? Make sure you're honoring the body. Breathe in, lengthen up the spine, and let's go ahead and crunch, crunch, crunch with a more intense shoulder stretch. Good, tight belly, come on up, breathing in. And out. Okay, two more here, breathe in. Exhale, crunching, crunching, crunching. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good, tight belly, inhale, come on up. And release. One more breath in. Exhale, crunch, 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 crunch. Tight belly, press up, inhale. And then exhale, let's go ahead and release the arms. Undo the legs if the legs were crossed. Reposition the feet so they're planted firmly into the earth. Knees are hip width distance apart and right on top of the ankles. Let's go ahead and roll the shoulders out. Three, two, one. Perfect. Now, since we've already started to move the legs a little, okay, we gave ourselves a little tap, let's continue with the movement of the legs. So engaging our core muscles, we wanna take the leg up and down. So I'm short, I like to sit on the edge of my chair, so both sits bones are rooted into the earth and I feel nice and secure. Go ahead and adjust yourself to make yourself, yourself comfortable. Okay, lifting the leg up, and down, up, and down. You'll notice something's working here. We need to engage the belly to support our lower back and to execute really nice form. Okay, are we breathing? Now, let's continue. Breathe in, breathe out. In, out. Breathing in, breathing out. In, out. Okay, let's continue this and do it with arms. We're gonna take the opposite arm to the opposite leg. So breathing in, arms up, breathing out, down. Okay, touching the opposite elbow to the knee. Good, up, down. And you'll notice in my other hand, it can be put onto the chair for support. Good, let's continue. Breathe in, breathe out, in, Exhale, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch, in. Exhale, with conviction, let's fist it down. Breathing in, breathe out. Show me the yoga fingers up and then fist it. Breathing in, I got this. Good, breathing in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Good, are you tightening the belly muscles, supporting the lower back? How are you feeling? Is the heart rate moving? going up a little. Do you feel a little bit warm? Are you still breathing? Continue, in, out, in, and out with the breath. In, 
out. We're gonna do two more, one on each side. In, out, inhale, exhale. Perfect, you did it, yay! And release, nice little cow here. Inhale, seated cow. Exhale, round the back, seated cat pose. Good, come on back to neutral. I want you to get up off of the chair, pressing into the chair to lift yourself up, readjusting your chair. So we're going to do some of the practice off of the chair as well. Moving the chair to a nice, comfortable position in front of you, using the back of the chair for support. Reminding yourself that nothing changes while we're off of the chair, that the feet are planted down onto the ground, hip width distance apart. From here, since we've worked on lifting and bending the leg, we're gonna do the same here. So how do we do this to start? We're going to step slightly back so that we're not right up against the chair. So nice little step back so you're firmly planted into the ground and that if you were to lift your leg, you are not going to hit the back of the chair, but yet you still have the support of the chair to help you. Feet are hip width distance apart. I'm gonna soften my knees, draw the belly in, lift up through the crown of the head, keep my chest up and beaming to the sky, and watch your chin that it's not protruding, that it's back in. From here, with our my toes spread nice and wide, okay? I'm gonna see what does it feel like to engage my belly, to support my whole body, planting my feet, lifting my right heel, then lifting the right knee up. Breathe in and exhale, breathe out. In, out. Good, just marching here, in, out. But see, this is more intentional than just, you know, walking. We are stepping with intention strong and tall, breathe out. In and out with the breath, tall spine, engaging the core, feeling nice and strong. Good, continue, breathe in, breathe out. In, out, inhaling, exhaling, breathing in, breathing out. Let's do one more on each side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now, keeping the knees nice and soft, feet still planted, hip width distance apart, what does it feel like to hinge a little bit at the waist, leaning forward, securely planting our hands onto the chair for us to lift the right leg up and off of the ground. Now, this is your practice, your yoga. You can just touch it down below with your toes, lifting the foot off of the ground, or see how high you can go, okay? It's your practice, your body. You need to make the decision of what's best for you. Keeping the body nice and square to the chair. Don't be turning like me necessarily, because that's not good. I'm just looking at you. Keeping the body nice and square, we're gonna lift the leg up. Now, we're not lifting it for that long. I'm just showing you the posture. Let's do the other side. Up and back, down. Okay, keeping the knees soft, bending, spreading the toes, rooting the feet into the earth. Let's continue with breath here, one at a time. Lifting up and down, up and down. Chest up, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale. Do you know what pose we're doing? Virabhadrasana three, warrior three, with the assistance of a chair. I want you to extend the ball of your foot to the back of the room, this imaginary wall behind you. And you feel that you're not just working the back, the hamstring, the core, but right down to the ball of the foot. Extend, release, extend, release, breathing. Can we do two more? One and two. Well done. This deserves a downward dog, okay? Arms up. One, two, take your hands down, step back, arms distance, length up from the chair, stepping back, feet are still hip-width distance apart, 
drawing your belly in, bending the knees, lifting your tail up to the sky, opening up the chest, widening the backs of the shoulders, stretching the backs of the legs. Take a breath here, breathe in and out. Be sure your head does not go beyond the shoulders. Keep the head nice and neutral, the neck. And let's go ahead and walk our feet to the chair. Well done, everyone. Let's go ahead and take the chair back to a seated position. How's everybody feeling? Nice and warm? Let's go ahead and take our arms all the way up, inhaling, exhaling, breathing in, and breathing out. I'm gonna turn myself to the side, okay? So just to give you a side view, but you can stay exactly where you are. I want you to take your hands so that they're facing the front of your mat, if you have a mat, or your fingertips are facing where your toes are. I want you to go ahead and start to stretch and open up the chest here, okay? So we're gonna be doing a reverse tabletop. Again, working on the core strength, but guess what? We also get to work on the other parts of the body. The chest, the shoulders. So plant the feet down, plant the hands down, and if it feels more comfortable to grip the sides of the chair, do what's best for you in your practice, okay? Breathe in here, tight belly, and let's lift the hips off of the chair. You got it, open up the heart, breathe in, breathe out, okay? We're gonna do a couple of more of those. Breathe in, breathe out, lift up. Inhale, exhale, release. Now, if you want something more challenging, Go ahead and straighten those legs, plant the toes down into the earth, plant the hands down into the chair. Okay, breathe in and lift up, breathe out. Inhale and exhale, release. Okay, two more times, breathing in. Do what's best for you. Are you bending your knees or keeping them straight? Inhale and then exhale, release. One more time, breathing in. Breathe out, hold it here, you got it. Breathe in and release, woo! Okay, let's go ahead and just give our body a little shake, okay? Give your legs a little shake and for sure, we're gonna go ahead and roll out the wrists because I'm not sure the last time you did a little wrist exercise, but putting the full weight of our body onto these wrists. It's a doozy sometimes. So we're gonna to continue to roll them out. Don't forget to breathe. Okay, let's go ahead and rotate them inward. So if you like this sequence, I'm going to end up posting another video to continue on our core strengthening. Please, if you like this video, subscribe to me and check out the other core strengthening moves while on a chair. Okay, let's interlace the fingers, roll it out one way and the other way. Great, shake those wrists out. Okay, let's take our hands back onto the thighs, open up the chest for final cow pose, Exhale, round the back for cat. One more time, breathing in. Exhale, breathing out. I always like to wind down, if we can, with a gentle stretch to the neck. Continue to breathe, smile, breathe in. Exhale, let's look to the other side. Good, inhale. Exhale, lift the nice ear to the shoulder. Come back to center, ear to the other shoulder. Come back to center, breathe in. Ah, breathe out. Well done, everyone. Take your hands to the heart. It's such a pleasure. Thank you for joining me today. Well done. Namaste.